Well, it's been a little while since I did a video. Uh, part of that is because since Pennsylvania Plow Day happened, uh, I've been, well, I had finals at school, and now I'm working 60, 70 hours a week full time, back selling tractors and stuff, but I just figured I'd show you guys a little project I've been working on. This is a 6.2, roughly an 86 vintage out of a uh, military blazer, uh, CUCV. I think the blazers are, I think they're 1009s. Um, anyway, what it is, is it's a 6.2 uh, mechanical injection, naturally aspirated, very similar to a 6.5, same block and everything. And um, picked it up for 150 bucks, which is a good deal even by 6.2 standards. And um, I'll show you a picture of what it looked like when we first threw it on the stand. And uh, as you can see, now it's torn down quite a bit since then. I've just been out here for the last hour and a half removing stuff. So I got the wiring harness off of it, the alternator, the intake manifold, the exhaust manifolds. And uh, everything's coming apart really easily, which is cool. The motor supposedly has like 30 or 40,000 miles on it. Um, a lot of those military trucks really, all they did was drive around bases and stuff. And not many of them have any significant amount of miles on them. So the plan for this, I bought it as a, an engine to use for mock-up and stuff like that. Um, but 6.2s are also pretty strong blocks. It's already got the mechanical injection set up on it. So it would be a good swap candidate. Um, obviously, you know, 6.5 has like 5 pounds of oil pressure at idle, which is kind of concerning. But, uh, you know, it just keeps running, knock on wood. So um, I want to have this going in the meantime for something to do during the winter and um, you know I just I've been wanting to do this for a little while and this was the right deal so I figured for 150 bucks I'd jump on it it's in good shape oil pan still has paint on it the block still has paint on it um, pulled the exhaust manifolds and some oil inside might need valve seals or something I don't know but as I said it's primarily a well, for the time being, it's primarily a mock-up engine. Uh, what I want to do is I've got... So these are these two here are the factory 6.2 manifolds. And I've got this set of 6.5 van manifolds. And what they're for is uh, the 6.2 manifolds kind of come out and then go down for the exhaust setup. Whereas these come straight back and uh, the idea is with these you can run a center mount turbo for the diesel guys out there you'll know that Duramax is their center mount, power strokes are center mount obviously a Cummins is an inline so that can't happen but center mounts the way to go it's um, more balanced flow wise whereas with a 6.5 you've got all the exhaust or the pass driver side rather has a nice manifold but then it comes down in the crossover pipe it collects like right about yonder and then you've got two ports here feeding with four cylinders worth into the turbo and it's just a really crappy design so i figured you know for the money that i'm going to be into this thing i could try and build a center mount turbo setup on the cheap so we'll see what happens it's going to be a pretty fun project i hope not too much money invested in it and uh, it'll be cool to take one of these things apart and really see what it's like on the inside. So I don't know, videos on this are going to be sporadic at best, but um, this is what I've been up to. No videos lately, no tractor activity. Um, might have, uh, might be selling the, the last Hydra that I've got, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, glad to see everyone else is making videos. I know I'm not, sorry about that, but the way she goes, 65 hours a week at work, and then by the time I get home, I don't want to do anything, let alone make a YouTube video. So, anyway, that's what I've been up to.